now. Ponder upon this. Where does destiny lead Dewey Sukarno today? And what visage does her daughter, after traversing 57 eventful years, adorn? Brace yourself as we unravel these enigmatic threads. An ordinary Japanese girl found herself intertwined in the intricate web of fate, ultimately ascending to the esteemed position of the third wife of the Indonesian president. Despite a staggering 40-year age chasm and stark disparities in their upbringings and cultures, their love saga unfolded akin to a whimsical fairy tale, captivating hearts worldwide. Pause not. Remember to shower your affection upon this narrative by engaging with us. Comment below where you are watching us from. Like, subscribe, and ring the bell icon to stay abreast of our enthralling chronicles. Let us delve deeper into the annals of Dewi Sukarno's life. Born Naoko Nomoto on February 6, 1940, amidst the bustling streets of Tokyo, Japan, Dewi's humble origins shaped her resilient spirit. Raised in the embrace of scarcity, her father's toil as a carpenter and her mother's domestic chores tethered her to the reality of financial strains. Alas, her mother's perpetual ailment compounded their woes, necessitating loans for Dewey's education. Thus commenced Dewey's odyssey, shouldering familial responsibilities since her teens. At the tender age of 15, bereft of her father's guidance, she metamorphosed into the family's sole breadwinner. Venturing into the nocturnal realm of the Copacabana Club in Akasaka as a nightclub hostess, Dewey's allure transcended boundaries, drawing luminaries and statesmen enamored by her resplendent charm. Though her countenance bore semblances of mixed heritage, her lineage remained staunchly Japanese. Yet, she effortlessly embraced the nuances of English and the refined etiquette befitting the elite echelons of society, all while nurturing aspirations of literary acclaim. In the labyrinth of fate, 1959 marked a pivotal juncture in Dewey's narrative. A fortuitous encounter, orchestrated by a Japanese magnate, unveiled the path to her destiny. At a genteel soiree, graced by the Indonesian luminary, President Sukarno, Dewey's ethereal gaze ensnared his heart, kindling an ardor transcending time. Mutual interests and shared passions cemented their bond, culminating in a poignant proposal that echoed with poetic fervor. Thus ensued a union that defied conventions, with Dewey embracing Islam as a testament to her devotion. Amidst the opulence of Sukarno's court, Dewey blossomed into the epitome of grace, akin to a modern-day Helen of Troy. Unbeknownst to many, Dewey's role transcended mere matrimonial ties, secret emissary between two nations. Her clandestine endeavors epitomized diplomacy in its clandestine form. However, Fame bore a double-edged sword, casting aspersions on her loyalty and tarnishing her homeland's perception of her. As whispers of betrayal permeated the air, Dewey weathered the storm of scrutiny even as personal tragedies besieged her. The demise of her kin, ensnared in the vortex of media frenzy, inflicted wounds too profound to heal. Yet, Sukarno's unwavering support served as a beacon of solace amidst the tempest of adversities. Tragedy struck anew in 1967, shattering the idyllic facade of Dewey's existence. Political upheaval thrust Sukarno into the throes of captivity, prompting Dewey's exodus in a bid for sanctuary. Denied refuge by her motherland, she sought solace in distant shores, birthing her progeny amidst the tumult of exile. France embraced Dewey as its own, ensconcing her in the echelons of Parisian aristocracy. Her resplendent charm earned her monikers of adulation as she traversed the corridors of power with finesse. Yet, her heart remained tethered to Sukarno, even as destiny laid claim to his mortal coil. Decades ebbed away, but Dewey's indomitable spirit endured. From the cobblestone streets of Paris to the bustling avenues of New York, her odyssey unfolded, punctuated by philanthropic endeavors and entrepreneurial pursuits. As the curtain of time draped her in its embrace, Dewey's legacy endured, a testament to the indomitable spirit of a woman who defied the odds. Behold, dear voyagers, the indelible imprint of Dewey Sukarno's saga, 
a testament to the resilience of the human spirit and the enduring power of love. As we bid adieu to this enchanting odyssey, ponder upon the valor of a woman who transcended boundaries, embodying the timeless adage, fortune favors the bold. Reflect upon Dewey's odyssey, dear patrons, and partake in the discourse. Share your musings in the ethereal realms of cyberspace, for your voice is but a beacon illuminating the path for others. Until we rendezvous again, let Dewey's legacy resonate in the corridors of your consciousness, a testament to the triumph of love amidst the tempests of fate. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe, and we will see you in the next one.